Today we're going to discuss on how to properly extend your CT cable for Solis. I have been receiving a lot of inquiries on how to properly do it and this is the best way to be able to do this. Okay, now first things first your CT cable comprises of two parts one you have to loosen the thread here because this one holds the cable itself and second get a long nose and screw it or oh, unscrew it on the clockwise direction and it will loosen up see so it has three parts by the way so your connector the sheet and its lock so next is you're going to mark the cable on which particularly this is connected to so black naturally this is a, a black printer pen all you need to do is to mark it so that you will know which part of the which part of the cable that is black and it's also good to have in a marker so that if you want to uh, place it to its original length then you don't have to guess which part is uh, the connection and after that just a screwdriver so you're just going to remove this so red is removed and then black and that's it so you can remove all the endpoints and put it on the side then get a wire so I would suggest an 18 AWG wire will do 20 is will be sufficient and also you have to have a marking also red and black same with your CT wire so first we need to identify which is your red or which is your black all you need to do is to get your multi-tester put it on the continuity selector test it okay so all we need to do is just to look for the other end okay 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 so this is black so black is black so now we'll know this is black put it on the side and I'm using this for testing purposes because you need to check how uh, its length a word of caution effective range is uh, 10 meters you can extend this the shorter the better so because this one is just a your CT is a limiter and also it's a feedback so the longer it is impedance will uh, take place and you know what happens so the feedback would also be slower and the accuracy of your limiter would be off okay so again this is black placed your connector here so I'm using a Wego connector so for who are familiar with this it's very versatile so black is black and then we have our next connection the red and also on the red on the other end so it's much easier so, uh, since you already know how to already know that this one is on the the connection so all you need to do is to put it again in place 
So what we mark, so this one doesn't have a marker. This one is black. So all you need to do is to loosen this up. Place it here. Tighten it up. Other one. So I think I'm using a bit huge wire. Well, this one is just for a, a tutorial so that, you know, you don't need to cut because I've seen some of the installation. They cut it, which is, it's a no-no. You don't cut. But if you want to extend it properly, you can do it the right way. So let's do the right way. Okay, and that's it. So tighten up. So see, it's easier. Again, up to 10 meters is recommended. And in case that uh, you want to have this back to its original place all you have to do is to remove so this is just a test that you know you can you can put the length how uh, how long is the your wire needs and then you can just remove it or solder this one uh, and then it's connected okay that's it